Hey guys, it's Apple Mint. Welcome back again to my channel. So for today's video, I am taking another piece of old cringy artwork and I'm gonna be redoing it and reimagining it. <laughs> I'm hoping to take something super old, but I do have a lot of very cringy artwork from the past. So let's get into picking something and hopefully make it better. <laughs> let's do it. So I went through a bunch of my old artwork and I have this giant folder that I kept for years and I have a lot of these because I used to do a lot of artwork on loose paper. Some of my oldest stuff is in here and then some things from like 2013. Yeah, this one's from 2013 and this is the kind of stuff I like to draw. The stuff on this side of the folder, however, is my really old stuff as in when I first started drawing. I want to say this is from like 2008. I also really liked the show Chobits at the time, so I had this whole little thing I stapled together of all the drawings I did of Chi. I don't even know what's happening with her hair. <laughs> I, what, how would I even draw that today? Anyway, I think I'd like to take one of these really old ones, one of these really cringy old artworks, Possibly this one, because I feel like this has potential. I'm trying to look for something that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm feeling this one. Let's go with this one. I didn't even bother to color in her skin here. I just kind of gave her claws and didn't even bother. So let's reimagine this piece of Sukiko, I guess is her name. Let's do it. So I'm gonna be using my five and a half by eight and a half sized sketchbook, which is my go-to. And I've made a little thumbnail sketch of what I want her to look like, just something rough for the pose. So as you can tell, I'm not doing the same exact pose that I had in my original artwork, but uh, that is because it was really boring. <laughs> she was just standing there with her weird claw hands and I'm gonna redo all of that. Um, and I think that's also the fun part of making redraws is you can kind of reimagine things you didn't like about the original artwork. So I'm gonna be taking my own creative liberties here and adding a few things that maybe weren't in the original piece. So I wanna make her a little bit more sassy since she is dressed up in this really glitzy looking dress or at least what I imagine that's what I had in mind at the time, I don't know. <laughs> but I wanna make her a little bit more on the high maintenance side. So that's why I wanna give her almost a more serious expression. Like she's taking a selfie and she's really into herself. Um, and my thumbnail sketch does not express that at all, but you know, it's just a thumbnail sketch, so don't pay attention to that. <laughs> anyway, I also wanted to take up most of the page, if not all of the page, with this drawing as well. Most of the drawings I tend to do are character designs, so I tend to not take up the entire space on a piece of paper, since I want to show as many details of an outfit as I can. But because the original of this was just a regular waist shot, waist up shot anyway, um, I want to reimagine that completely and I want to take up as much of the space here as I can with her. I want everything to be in color, even the background. So I, I want to make this a really fun piece to look at and something that also shows my skill today. As I said before, this piece was originally done in 2008 and I can look back and actually remember when I drew this. Um, I was watching, I think, a Mark Crilly art tutorial, if you guys know him at all, but he was pretty big on the YouTube scene a while back and he did a lot of tutorials on how to draw eyes, how to draw different poses, so I was really into that at the time. Before I get more into that, I'm just gonna pick some colors and again, wanna plan out how this is gonna go. So I just wanna make sure the colors that I'm choosing are kind of color matched. There's not that much color in this drawing as you can see. It's mostly just a few things going on here. Like I didn't even bother to color her skin in, in the original, which obviously I'm gonna fix that here. But it's mostly just the red of the dress, um, her hair, her eyes, and that's really the extent of what I'm working with here. So like I said, I'm gonna take my own liberties and add in some extra detail. So as I was saying, yeah, I used to watch a bunch of art tutorials back in the day and Mark Crilly's eye tutorial, I think was what I was specifically using for this old piece. 
And yeah, that's why the eyes look so different from anything I normally draw and any of my old artwork you might have seen when I was slipping through it in the beginning. So thanks to him for helping me on my art journey in the beginning. Um, but I'm gonna stray away from that for this drawing because I wanted to express the style that I currently draw in and my current level of skill for the most part. So for her face, I wanted to give her a bit of a blush, almost like a little bit of freckles and redness on her face just to break up some of the color. I just wanted to make her face more interesting than just plain. Uh, so I do add a lot of color into the face with pinks and peaches um, and freckles. And I just think it looks really cute and I think she looks a lot more fun than if I had just left her plain, especially because the original drawing had a lot of big blushy cheeks from what I can see I was going for there. So I want to take that and amp it up to the max because <laughs> that's what I like to do. Um, and then for the eyes, I did them in green and then I wanted to add a little bit of yellow right in the center just for a little bit of variability in the color to again, make it a little bit more fun. That's something that I do nowadays as well that I didn't do back then, which is add in other colors rather than just the same color I'm shading in or whatever uh, to make it more fun. So throw in a yellow there instead of just all green. For the hair, now the original hair was colored, it seems more of like a lighter uh, honey brown, but I much prefer to do this shade of brown because I have a lot more markers that I could shade and highlight with that match this tone more than the original color. So I'm gonna go all in on brown and I can do that because this is a redraw. <laughs> But anyway, I had a lot of fun coloring this hair because I tried to add a lot more detail. Obviously the original was just colored in with one colored pencil and there's no highlighting or shading in it because I don't think I really understood that back then. Um, nowadays, I like to add a lot of shininess to hair and so I used a few different browns here to break up some of the strands of hair. So a more dark one and then a more lighter one. Um, and then for the highlighted areas, I don't want to leave them plain white because I think that's just too boring and also not realistic. Uh, so to give her hair more warmth, something I tend to do and I'm doing here is to add in orange for the highlighted areas. I just like the way that looks a lot better and I just, it adds, it adds a lot more warmth to the piece than if I had just left it white or colored it in a very, very light, light brown. And like I mentioned before, I'm trying to add in the skills that I've taken in and learned over time into this piece. So that is something that I do now, is to do different colors rather than just a lighter version of what I'm working with. And then I went in and I added in some of the darker areas underneath the highlights to give it a little bit more volume. And there you go, there's the hair. <laughs> um, and now for the accessories, I'm going in with some reds and I like to make things shiny and not all just one flat color. So I'm gonna leave some space here so I can add some highlights onto this ribbon as if it's like a really nice satin ribbon that would be very shiny and add some shadows in underneath the highlights to really make them stand out. For the dress, you'll see that I added in a little like lace trim on the top of it. Again, this is just a little change to make it a little bit more interesting because it was just a plain piece of fabric before. Um, and yeah, gotta add that shading in because I really didn't have a concept of shading when I first started to draw, which is fine. You don't have to. Um, everything you learn in steps, in spurts, so that's okay. <laughs> but I'm just, I was very happy with how this piece turned out overall. It was really, really fun to do. This is one of my more favorite redraws that I've done, I think. And I've done quite a few. So let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below if you like my new interpretation of this character. I usually get asked a lot if the characters I draw have names and no, she doesn't have a name and she's not really an OC or anything. She's just a random girl that I'm redrawing. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And as always, I have all of my links in the description box below. I have the link to my online store with everything that I sell there. And then I have my Patreon pin club as well if you'd like to be a member, as well as my Discord server, which is 13 plus. So please take a look at that and join our community if you're interested in that. 
and everything else below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, let me know if you think that I did a good job with my redraw and if you would have imagined her this way. And as always, I will see you guys next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time in my next video. And I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Bye-bye.